Hey, this is Matthias. So in this ESF tutorial, I want to focus on some of the maneuvers that I found to be the best or most useful in most situations while flying your ESF. I'm not saying these are the best maneuvers. I'm not saying that if you have some other maneuvers that mine are better. Uh, it's just the ones that I have been using the most lately. Now in the air gameplay of Lensa 2, most common situations that I find myself in is that one pilot sees the other pilot first and this either turns into a chase or it turns into a duel if the uh, chased pilot have the chance to turn around. In this case uh, it ended up being a chase where the mossy tried to get away from me. Here I'm being chased but I turn around and try to take the fight. So that was a basic reverse maneuver and uh, the way you perform it is, uh, I'll, I'll show you here in VR, I was flying down chasing this other mozzie and uh, the moment I start turning around I hit analog throttle key, for me that is the key C and uh, I get into hover mode and I press the afterburner. Now I move by pulling or dragging the mouse towards me. I know by now how much I have to move in my hand in order to make this 180 degree turn. Now this is something you have to figure out if you don't use key bindings for it, which I don't. Now in order to perform a basic reverse maneuver or any kind of reverse maneuver, you have to be in hover mode. And the easiest way to get into hover mode is when you are facing upwards or shooting enemies above you. When you are facing downwards, like I'm doing here, you very quickly lose the reverse and you have to get back into it again. I'll cover that shortly in this video. Now, uh, just as a side note, people have asked me why I've been using the Mustang so much uh, lately. And it's because of this. I wanted to get the Arexia medal for it. In many situations, it can be hard to know what is the best thing to do. In this case, I'm uh, like in between hover mode and flight mode when I'm engaging this uh, Mosquito. Now, the reason why I didn't want to get into hover mode here is because I might have to escape flak. Uh, where you want to pick up? Mm -hmm. I'm at the crown. One of the important things about uh, whatever maneuvers you perform while in uh, combat is that they don't uh, make you lose your aim on your target, but uh, it's also important to know when not to make any crazy maneuvers. And keep in mind, when you are in uh, hover mode, you will consume more afterburner than when you're in flight mode. So here's another one of those reverse maneuvers. Here's how I'm making these spins in order to not be too predictable and to not be too much of an easy target. Now one of the problems here, aside from my health being low, is that my opponent is able to stay below me. This uh, makes it uh, really hard to stay in hover mode and uh, it's hard to, for me to dodge in this uh, situation. As the site gets lower, he uh, gives himself uh, more maneuverability while I lose mine. So I do this little thing, I'll show you this in VR, in order to get back into hover mode at least for a few seconds. Now the problem is that the moment I start shooting, I get back into flight mode again and I have to pull the same maneuver one more time. Oh my god! Oh, in front! So I'll show you these two maneuvers as well. Uh, the beginning turn around and uh, the maneuver to get back into hover mode when I'm facing down. So starting off by just flying forward, I uh, begin the maneuver with a uh, roll to the left. In this case, uh, I hit the analog throttle key at the same time and I also get uh, out in third person uh, view. Uh, I suggest you to try to uh, switch between first and third person view, especially when you are not shooting anyway. You might as well just get out in third person to get a better view of what's around you. See where your enemies are and how many of them there are. As you can see, this is another quite basic maneuver. I actually start by rolling a little bit to the right, just because that's what I happen to do in game. Now, one last time, I'm gonna overdo the turn right before turning left. Uh, hopefully, this will prevent your opponents to predict exactly where you're going. Now moving over to this little flip that allows you to get back into hover mode. It's basically also uh, partly a roll. In this case I start by rolling to the right. Once I'm uh, upside down I hit the analog throttle and then I move my hand back towards me again while also moving the hand to the left. thus creating this uh, roll maneuver.
be part now you don't have to completely flip all the way uh, upside down sometimes it's enough that you just turn a few degrees here i'm doing this basically the same maneuver i'm just doing less of it uh, less movement and I'm staying in first person mode while doing it as well. Now the basic thing is about uh, these maneuvers or these varieties of the same maneuver is that uh, you wanna get into hover mode and you wanna stay in hover mode. The easiest way to do that is by pulling your mouse towards you. Now the problem with this is that in some situations that might hinder you from aiming where you actually want to aim. Oh shit, I think I just hit meds. Yeah, I want after burners on the galaxy. I will fly it all day long. The facility is out. Yeah, I probably would too. Oh. <laughs> I, I, I jump on over. I captured uh, all of them guys, you're welcome. <laughs> oh, thanks. <laughs> So here's another variety of those 180 turnaround maneuvers. And uh, this one is a little bit more advanced. God, that's a 48, that's snake. Ow, 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 ow. Oh. another one. So basically how this maneuver started was by um, making a roll to the right and then quickly switching it up by rolling to the left. And basically what you want to do is turn uh, all the way around, which is 180 degrees. And you will find yourself in hover mode once you have reached about 90 degrees of that turn. And uh, that's when you continue moving your hand towards you in order to uh, make the additional turn so that you can face your opponent. But the moment you are in hover mode, you can of course use your afterburners in order to just give you the momentum that hopefully will throw your opponent off a bit. Now, of course, why I did this maneuver in the first place was because I was shot from behind. And these uh, maneuvers uh, are something that I came up with by just trying to avoid enemy fire when being chased. And what is key is, of course, changing direction in a way that makes it as hard for your opponent to hit you as possible. Here is uh, another variety. Okay, got it. Yeah, in this particular situation I tried to take cover behind the mountainside before turning. Now, while I'm turning I keep staying in the same direction and it's only once I have turned around and I see my opponent that's when I make another uh, roll and I switch direction afterwards. Now keep in mind all of these uh, maneuvers that you see from the live server are just uh, quick reactions to whatever situations I find myself in and uh, whenever I duplicate this in VR you're gonna find yet even another small variety to uh, what you saw alive. That's just how it happens. I don't have these maneuvers planned out in any way. So in order to get this, uh, uh, have any success with this, you need to react accordingly to what happens around you. And hopefully you will be able to throw your opponent off without uh, throwing yourself off at the same time, which actually can happen. So anyway, I hope this video was helpful, I hope you enjoyed it, and uh, of course I'm looking forward to see your feedback, so uh, that's all for this time. Thank you all for watching, and bye for now. <laughs> One down. Yeah. Oh, what? The vehicle, then oh, can... look how many MDK guys there. Can I... I'm gonna go get a Gollum Ram. <laughs> Gollum oh Ram. God, there's so many. Gollum Ram. Yeah, we some, no, some roms. Oh, I'll just kill my numbers. We then. don't care, we'd rather kill I them. I suppose they have domination on you. Nah, <laughs> we, we usually let them pull their vehicle and then we pull them. Yeah, it's more XP. What a fucking joke! Man was into a bar. Ouch. Let's do it. What the fuck? Man. Boo, go out. Yeah, man. <laughs> oh! So what the terrible. fuck? <laughs> <laughs> Did anyone see that? Peter, did you see that? What? <laughs> not, not go back, it's go up. back that mountain. Okay. Yeah, yeah, but we, we, can't, down in here. we can't go right in like that because we'll get fucked. I drove up, lightning flipped. Left I lost lightning. Them. We need to get rid of the sky guard. Oh yeah, I managed to flip my fucking sky guard awesome. in the conflict match. Oh, no, it's <laughs> <below. laughs> no, it's not. It's underneath us. Hey, well, also, I, I, I got I'll the, uh, I got the bug that Yoli had in the galaxy. I got that bug on my Mac and then it... They stuck with me every time I respawn. <laughs> that kind of well, that's what you get for pulling a max. Pain with C4. We worked out.